Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after the West Ham 1 Tottenham Hotspur 0 defeat tonight. I'm in the studio because tonight we did a live watch along rather than me be at the game. I couldn't get a ticket. That was really disappointing, as was the performance tonight. Like, I don't want to be negative, obviously, because we had an amazing season. It still feels like an incredible time to be alive. Obviously, Woolwich lost tonight as well. Man City lost. The only result that went kind of against us was that Man United beat Watford 1-0. So we're only seven points ahead of fifth now. But that's still seven points. It's the beginning of March. If, we'd asked in, uh, if you'd asked me in August, we'd be seven, and said seven points ahead of the uh, fifth place team in March, I'd bite your hand off. So it's been an incredible season so far, and I don't want to be too negative, but today was definitely our worst performance of the season. And I'm not going to say it's because the lads didn't try or they weren't interested. To me, it was about West Ham, how they set up, how the conditions were, what the pitch was like, what the rain was like. It was just so set up for them. It was their cup final, the last game under the lights at the Berlin ground, and just 11 players on West Ham's team who wanted it so badly. The whole crowd wanted it. Every time one of our midfielders got the ball, there were three or four players around them. And teams have come to White Hart Lane this season and, say, and managers have said they suffocated us. It was impossible to get the ball down. It was impossible to win it back because they were just around us all the time. And props to West Ham. I don't like saying it, but tonight they did that. And they made us look bang average tonight. We couldn't get the ball down in midfield. There was no rhythm. There was no time where we got possession for any sustained period. And as a result, we never kept the ball. We never made chances. There were a couple of little half chances, a couple of things. Maybe Harry Kane could have scored from a, a shot beginning of the second half. But to be totally honest, it just never felt like it was going to happen. Once West Ham had got their early goal, classic kind of set piece, came to the near post, beat him at the front. Uh, beat Hugo Lloris at the front stick and he just some people will say in the press you've got to have men on the post but the reason they don't have men on the post is because they look at the stats they look at how many goals go in at the near post and the far post they look at how how it works to just mark men instead of standing on the post and they know uh, the people who study all the videos that it's more worthwhile marking your men so I'm not going to complain Poch knows better than me it's just one of those things you can't win every game we've won six in a row guys come on what's to be negative about I'm getting texts from people saying it's over oh this is the worst performance like yes it was bad but six in a row in February in January and February Last time we lost was before those six in a row. It's about being able to bounce back. Before that, when we lost to Newcastle, we won three or four on the spin after that. It's about bounce back. And we know that Saturday, 12.45 kickoff, Woolwich at home, they are without Koscielny, they are without Peter Cech. It's a good chance. Now, I don't want us to be complacent. I feel like Arsenal were complacent when they went to Man U the other day and they had their, basically their youth team out because of injuries. No complacency. White Hart Lane, 36,000 white-shirted Spurs fans just cheering, supporting, believing. Let's get behind them. Let's turn them over. Let's make it happen. We forget all about this game. It was West Ham's day. It was West Ham's night. It felt slightly inevitable to me, and it happened. We lost 1-0. Forget about it. Saturday, we can go six points ahead of Arsenal. We can go top for at least a few hours. Let's make it happen. Let's make it one of the best days in the history of our club. Let's make sure that we know that we're in it for the long haul and with real, genuine title challenges, OK? Let's think about it. Let me know what you thought of my match review and of the match in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hey, this is Smithy back again for Spurred on. Now, Tottenham do, of course, play Swansea this weekend and we will be coming up against Gilfie Sigurdsson.